Hey guys, today I'm going to be putting the battery bank together, or at least doing the battery cables for my solar setup for my RV. You see I got four 100 amp hour batteries right there and I got two more right down there for a total of six. Now what I got to do, I need short cables because that's how I'm going to be mounting the, the batteries in the, the RV itself. So you can see we got about six inches between the terminals there. So I was making a I got a couple made up already and of course move that out of the way I don't have the proper crimping tool and wire stripper so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do it with normal everyday tools well tools that you should have in your garage I guess alright let's go ahead and get to it what I'm going to be using today I got some two gauge wire some cutters to cut the two gauge wire, a razor blade to strip the wire back, a pack of ring terminals, I think it's a pack of 25, solder, flux, shrink wrap, and then I got my two torches. I'm using the big torch to do the soldering, and I'm using this little torch right there for the, to shrink down the shrink wrap. It ends up making it a little easier, not getting it so, don't get it so hot. And then I'm going to be using this vise to crimp the terminals before I solder them. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut the wire. For this application, it works up to five and a half inches and I already pre-marked it. So we're going to go ahead and use these cutter tools. That right there. Whoops, lost my spot. There we go. All right. Now to mark to see how much insulation you need to strip, strip back, you're gonna take your terminal, butt it up just like that, and make sure you leave just a, a little bit extra so you have some copper exposed so you can go ahead and, and do, your, do your solder. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your razor blade and cut the insulation out. Now be careful not to push too hard because you just want to cut the insulation. You don't want to cut into the copper itself. All right, we got the insulation stripped away. Now, as, as you can see, when we put the ring terminal on, we got just a little copper exposed. That way we could go ahead and once we crimp it, crimp it, we'll go ahead and put our fill it with solder. Now, before you put your terminal on, you're going to want to dip the end of the wire and some flux. Go ahead and get the flux on it to help the solder flow. You don't need it a lot, just, just a little bit of flux. So I'll put a little bit more. All right, then we'll go ahead and, whoops. Then you go ahead and slide the wire in. There we go. Took a little too much insulation off, but it's really not a problem at all. Now we'll go ahead and put it in our vise and crimp it down. I'm going to put it in the center of the vise here so it gets a, an even pressure. And by the way, sorry about the, I know it's echoing, it's, we're in our garage and it's echoing like crazy. Set it up and squish it a little bit. I like to put a little bit of pressure, make sure we're straight on both sides, push down, and then we're just going ahead and crank it down. And we'll go ahead and loosen it up. As you can see, it's crimped pretty good on that, on that wire there, and there's no movement. So it's a pretty solid and crimped connection. I'm, I can't even pull that out even if I wanted to. Now we're going to set it in the vise. Now we're just putting it in there just to hold it so we could go ahead and put our solder down. Now we're going to go ahead and take our torch, 
I'm going to heat just the bottom of it. We don't want to heat up by the copper itself because we don't want it to get oxidized. So we're going to heat the bottom of it. Go and get it nice and warmed up. And once it heats up enough, the solder should go ahead and melt down in there. Whoop. Push a little too hard on right there. Let's see. All right, now it's time to get more. As you see the solder, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. All right, <laughs> I might have overdid it on the solder a little bit. Go ahead and turn that off. So you guys can see we went ahead and the solder soaked all the way down in there. I put a little bit too much solder. Got a little too hot, but it, sh it should be okay. Now I'm gonna let it cool down completely. Well, oh, let the camera adjust there. I'm gonna let it cool down completely and then go ahead and slide the shrink tube over it. And then I'll, what I'm doing, because the way I'm mounting them for the top post, I'm gonna bend that terminal in an L shape. All right, now that we got it all soldered up, we'll go ahead and put the shrink tube on it. Take my little torch and melt the tube down. Nope. Oh, see, we got our shrink tube. As you can see, I mounted it sideways in the vise, and then I just take it and bend it over. That way the wire is going to sit all nice and flush with the terminal. Now, like I said, that's just optional. That's just my preference for what my particular application. Just to show you guys how it's going to look when it's in the battery bank. That's why I bent the, the ring terminals. So it's going to set the wire down kind of nice and low instead of having it bowed up. Alright you guys. As always, if you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.